Simon's trying to remember. What else do we put on our shopping list? Oh, what a mouth-watering smell. Paima would know the aroma of biryani anywhere. Let's go get some. Uh, we can still add it to the list. Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Wasn't expecting to see you here. Uh, hello there. Oh, it's been quite a while. Ah, so you two are still hanging out together. Dia, didn't you say last time that you were gonna head back to the desert? <laughs> I said I was going to resign from being her bodyguard. Not that our friendship was over. We're still the best of friends. The Homayanis also still post jobs from time to time. Their pay is always generous, so me and the other mercs never pass them up. I told Dia to just stay at our place when she took one of those jobs a few days ago. My parents were delighted. They even said that it always felt like we were missing someone whenever Dia wasn't around. <laughs> that sounds like something they would say, all right. They're always so welcoming. Anyway, the job is already taken care of. So I was gonna head back to the brigade as soon as I finished a little shopping. But the master kept insisting, and I ended up staying for another day. You can stay for as many days as you want, Dia. Father hasn't even gotten around to treating you to his best dishes yet. <laughs> you know I'm not the kind of person to stay put in one place like that, my lady. Don't worry, though. There'll always be next time. Use that! But, but wait! Didn't you say last time that you would take me on a trip to the desert? Why don't you just take me with you today, when you leave? There are so many places I still haven't visited yet. I'm sorry, my lady, but no can do. There are still a few things I need to take care of back at the brigade. Besides, the desert hasn't exactly been the most peaceful place lately. Oh, come on! Not this again! That's also what you said last time, and the time before that. I know, I'm sorry. Just give me some more time, and I promise I'll plan the best trip ever for you. All right, fine. To be perfectly honest, it's not that I wanted to go, it's more like... I feel like something is off about you lately. Ever since you first set foot on the estate a few days ago, You've been acting anxious and even paranoid. Have you been delaying our trip because you've run into some kind of trouble? N nah, are you kidding? You're worrying too much. Would you swear on that? Friends shouldn't lie to each other, you know. I wouldn't pry any further if you're willing to swear on what you just said. But if something really is bothering you, then just tell me. You know I'll help you however I can. Mm. Oh, looks like Junior's out was on to something. You're too perceptive, my lady. Seems I can't hide anything from you. I just thought that nothing good could come out of telling you about the messy happenings of mercenaries. Knowing too much only leads to more trouble. Mercenary life is a dog-eat-dog -dog world where Mora reigns supreme. Everything operates on a completely different set of rules. That doesn't change anything about what I just said, though. We're still friends, and I can only support you if I understand what's bothering you. My lady... You're not gonna stop until you drag it out of me, are ya? All right, I'll share what I know. Let's go somewhere else first. This isn't exactly the best place for a discussion. Okay, let's talk here. Just... Try not to draw any extra attention. As you may already know, the Eremites have both a lot of mercenaries and a complex organizational structure. Many mercs are no different than me, just going around looking for jobs to earn some mora. My brigade is called the Blazing Beasts. We're not a large group, but every member is loyal and brave. However, not all Eremite brigades are like mine. Some are willing to cross all kinds of lines for the sake of Mora. The most notorious is a faction known as Deshret's Relics. Deshret's Relics? Judging from the name, 
They must really look up to... Yep, you got it. I've heard that you've already crossed paths with Ein al Akmar. They're one of the groups under the Relic's banner. Oh, you mean the group that tried to sell us the Divine Knowledge Capsule? Yeah, they weren't friendly at all. Deshret's Relics is composed of many smaller brigades like Ein al Akmar. The Relic's headquarters issues orders to all brigades under his control. <sighs> On any other day, I would want nothing to do with them. Unfortunately, though, the brigade that's stirring up trouble now is none other than Dakan al Akmar. Dakan? Uh, I think it means beard or something. Believe me, it's a really stupid name. I found it insufferable for years. Anyway, the real issue is that Dakan al Akmar is led by my father, Kusela. Say what now? I think I'm starting to understand your anxiety now. But what did they do? I won't go into details, my lady. But they've been involved in a lot of violent incidents. We're talking hundreds. Hundreds? Yep. The scenes tend to be quite gruesome, too. They strip the victims of all their valuables before murdering them. Not only have they targeted merchant caravans and ordinary citizens, but other mercenary brigades as well. That's beyond terrible. They won't even spare their own kind. I don't know how Deshret's relic sees it. All I do know is that Dakan al Akmar has become more and more aggressive over the last few years. If I don't do something about them, then even my brigade or the people of Aru Village could become their next target. I just wish I knew what's driven him to do this. Yeah, how can your father do such terrible things? I don't know, people change. He's always been pretty pathetic. But at least in the past, there were still a few lines that he wouldn't cross. That's setting the bar pretty low. I mean, if he was even remotely decent, then why would I have to leave the brigade and cut all ties with him? 